it's super fun to be able to come all the way back to the beginning. But leave that to the creators, writers, and fans. I mean, anything can happen with this in the Saw world. Even this, you know, 18 years later, it's crazy. But it's, it's a powerful, this, the story's compelling and the fans are just like, the Saw fans, next level. What's super exciting about this for the true fans is that you're, you have John and Amanda, which, you know, like the idea of the, the male and female of Jigsaw is super interesting. Everybody dies at the end of three. So, you know, how many flashbacks can you have? And then someone had the genius idea to go back to this time. And like, I mean, it's like unreal. I play Amanda Young and uh, she's very smart. She's been um, wounded And John Kramer brings her back to life, kind of like a, like a doll that's been turned off, you know? She gets brought back to life and she loves him, like wholeheartedly. And uh, that's, amazing and terrifying and torture for someone like Amanda. John is, comes to Mexico City in search of cancer treatment. Um, you know, not FDA approved cancer treatment. And for someone like John Kramer to pursue that, it must be compelling, you know. He does his research. And there's a moment he realizes what, that he's been duped. And uh, it's really hard for someone like John Kramer. You know, his, his hope clouded his vision a little. And they, the game was pretty, you know, their racket was pretty compelling. But uh, it's a devastating for him and really pisses me off. It's hard for Amanda because she loves John so much and to see him hurt like that and, and vulnerable like that, there's like, there's a, there's a battle cry in there, like a, but at the same time, you can't forsake that philosophy, you know, that like every, every human being deserves a chance. And, and he's in the business of saving souls. And, uh, and she's in that business enough, you know, he really does plan on her continuing this work of his. And he wouldn't give that to her if he didn't think she could do it or that she believed in it. And, um, so that, that is bigger than the anger until at a certain point, you know, then you see like, there's no, there's no uh, redemption <laughs> for several characters, but still, everybody deserves a chance. And uh, that's how he rolls. Tobin Bell plays John Kramer, and that is just the luckiest thing that happened to the Saw franchise. Because from day one, the body on the floor, he was meticulous 
I mean, he is scientific. He's scientific about his work, but then he's just like, psst, pours his heart into, but he's worked out. And he was that, but he insisted on being the body on the floor in part one. I still don't know exactly how they came to him, but I just know that, thank God they did. I mean, it was probably meant to be, but that was definitely, because he's such a big part of, um, of the longevity of this franchise. Kevin G is directing this film. It's really fun to work with him on this. They couldn't have hired a better director because imagine like everything this man has to hold in his head all day long, like 18 years of details, but he's the right man for the job. You know, if anyone could hold all that in his head and be editing while he's filming this, it's him. This has been so many years now of conventions and meeting the fans of Amanda. There are like generations of them now. I just started calling them this past year the tribe of Amandas because they're very similar. They're all super smart and super like, like tender hearted but strong and they connect with each other and and I love them so much and I love Amanda and it's like I never would have thought that I could come back 18 years later and like because I do like I hold all of them and her in my heart and it's like I get to come back and like sing a love song to these young women including the young woman I'm playing but it's like, what an unreal opportunity. Leave it to the saw world.